Most know this place as the Stairway to Heaven. Locals know them as the Haiku Stairs. Originally, it was known as the Haiku Ladder because it was simply too vertical to be considered stairs. Gotta be it, because we're going underneath the highway here. As soon as we get under the highway, the stairs should start. Here's a broken fence, this is it. You really cannot capture how steep this is. Uh. Really vertical. In the early 1940s, the Haiku Valley was full of huge lava rocks, twisted hay trees, and dense vegetation. But beyond clearing this, the largest problem facing the construction of the radio station, and subsequently these stairs, was finding a way to send men to the top of the cliffs. Because for most of these cliffs, they rise completely vertical. Light's starting to come out. I'm not sure about the sunrise this morning because of how cloudy it is. Oh, the man, this view. I think Josh is a little tired. I think he's sick. He's coughing all night, so he's a little behind, but these only go one way, so he'll catch up. We're following the path of Bill Adams and Lewis Otto, who through sheer determination and courage, using one coil of rope, a sledgehammer, and a bundle of steel pins, made it to the top of these cliffs first. A 1940s account writes, the climbers began up the south side of the valley. The two men worked their way up the steep rock by driving in one spike, standing on it, and driving in another, attaching the rope to that spike, and then pulling themselves up to drive in another spike. It took Adams and Otto 21 days before they reached the top. At this point for sunrise, we are not even halfway. The total amount of steps is around 4,000 leading up to the radio tower. The Haiku Radio Tower was a top secret project that was part of the Radio Pearl Harbor system, which included Wahiawa, Lualualei, and Haiku. The goal was to communicate to US ships and submarines across the Pacific using a transmitter built on top of the mountain. The US quickly realized that after Pearl Harbor, we were not prepared for a war in the Pacific.
This is the radio tower. The Navy created an antenna system that reached 3,000 feet across the Haiku Valley, and once it was operational, the low-frequency radio system could send messages to submarines as far away as the Tokyo Harbor. To me, the design and construction of this transmission system is a testament to human ingenuity under the pressures of war. Thanks for watching guys. It's no secret that this spot is in Hawaii and we had an incredible time exploring this incredible state. If you want to see more photography from this trip or more urbex content, be sure to hit us up on Instagram at ghosts.versus.bros and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again guys. See you next time.